toy hauler fans, are you ready for Van Lee's new beautiful toy hauler, the Ambition? Mount Comfort RV is going to be one of only about a dozen places in the country where you can see this. There are only 12 out there that are available. This is an absolutely gorgeous fifth wheel toy hauler. I think you're going to fall in love with it. I know I have. First thing I want to talk to you about is the full body paint. Now this is standard on the Ambition. Think about Van Lee's Beacon. If you're familiar with Van Lee, Division of Tiffin, if you're familiar with those guys, this is the kind of paint job that you can expect. The style, this was a model after their Zephyr, which is one of their top um, coaches. Just feels so beautiful and so smooth. I love this little bit of sparkle we're picking up in the sunlight. The striping goes all the way down. Just, I mean, this is gonna catch everybody's attention. You pull in with your stuff, and they're going to be absolutely in awe. So enough about the full body paint. You could probably see that you're going to have slide out toppers and everything. That is an option. One of the things that I did want to call your attention to as well are the slide outs. As you would expect in a Van Lee, all five sides, laminated and insulated. So you're going to have the same protection that you do on the outside. You do here and you do here. Of course, Asdell is what your fiberglass is going to be bonded to. These are T60 mobile home walls. Tiffin is always uh, very fond of saying that in their fifth wheels, we're going to have a little bit of motorhome DNA, and you can definitely see that here. So a warmer, more sturdy, strong slide out box, what you'd expect from Van Lee. I'm going to slip back here just a second. I want you to take a look at the waterworks. You do have power gates. And of course, everything is going to be up inside, stored with a um, ducted, heated, and return um, underneath to keep your tanks good and warm. Of course, full house filter. And then everything inside just finished off beautifully. Great big basement storage there. Of course, you're going to be on a six point auto level. That's your intervac tools. You do have sort of a sort of a, a central vacuum system inside this RV. We're gonna slip around here. Generator prep is also standard on the Ambition. We went ahead and had them put in a Cummins owning 5,500 watt generator. This is gonna run off of the two fuel cells that you have in back, one a 20 gallon, the other one a 40 gallon. So 60 gallons of fuel that you can take along that will help power this. Of course, dual batteries and then your um, hydraulic works. I'm gonna slip around this side. Another shot of your big cargo bay here in your intervac. This is where your chassis kill switch is, your inverter. Again, another great shot of this amazing paint job. You have a total of three awnings on this toy hauler. One, two back here over the entrance to the garage. And that's an extra wide entrance to your garage with solid steps on both doors. Of course, it's a triple axle. We went ahead and upgraded to the 8K axles, which got us the H-grade tires. Slip back here a little bit more, and here, as you would expect, an amazing ramp patio system. Of course, your Lippert uh, guards here. This operates so smoothly. You're gonna have three season doors on the back. Those fold back and the ramp folds down. Gonna take about 3,000 pounds loading. 1,500 pounds on the deck, so there's plenty of room for lots of people to have fun and food, maybe a few beverages of uh, your choice. We don't have the awning out, but there is an awning that comes out over the uh, back deck. And of course, your ramp door is gonna be water resistant. So if it does start raining and you need to jump inside, no need to get out there in the pouring rain and pop that ramp door up because you're worried that it's gonna warp or you're gonna have some sort of problems with it. Well, that takes us back around here to our shore power cord. Of course, it's going to be on a power reel. Awesome. If you've ever loaded one of these uh, shore power cords when it's cold outside, this thing is worth every single penny, I think. <laughs> Certainly, I, I, have, I have been in that, that situation. Here's your fuel cells. Dual pane frameless flush windows. Really awesome and they're really large inside. It's gonna let in a lot of natural light. This is not a toy hauler that you can expect to be dark. I know some of them have kind of a knock on them that they feel kind of like a cave inside. Not so inside the Ambition. Well, we're gonna take a short break here and then I wanna get inside. There's so much more I could tell you about this guy. Of course, one of the things you need to remember is this is gonna take a beefy truck. 
you're looking at about 17,000 pounds dry weight, folks. So this is probably, not probably, this is definitely your one ton territory. Now we're gonna take a quick break and go inside. I wanna show you the ambition as your new home away from home. Thank you for joining me inside Van Lee's Ambition. Well, right now they're only doing a one floor plan, as I mentioned. So what we're looking at right here is the Happy Jack sofa system beds. I've got them folded into two sofas. Of course, this is the, um, the upper bunk. This is a queen size bed and it will pop up. You can have it at just about any height. These two sofas fold together. You can put a little folding table in between here, turn this into a dinette. It's a great party room. As you can see, we've got it open to the uh, deck outside. These are your steps that come down off the deck so you can get into the toy hauler without coming all the way around to the side um, entrance garage. Of course, we've got the non-skid floor down here, plenty of places to hook her up and secure your toys. I just have to tell you the fit and finish even in the garage is amazing of course hardwood doors and this bathroom i've never seen a bathroom look so nice in a toy hauler of course you've got the linoleum on the floor but look at this this is really actually pretty big most toy haulers and i'm not a small person um, but most toy haulers this bathroom you couldn't come in here and really shut the door very easily um, angled such that you can get in here very nicely and i'll get out of the way there's a very nice vanity in there with actually a little bit of room on the side of the sink to set some things. So the way that they've situated that sink was very thoughtful. This is the other side of the loft that was up in the side of the kitchen. We do have a television up here. Operation for your bed controls is a lot easier to reach. Um, I'm not exactly a tall person and I remember reaching up to try to get some of the bed operation done in some other toy haulers. Um, this is an amazing one. Folks, if you're shopping for maybe a DRV mobile suites or you're looking at momentum, I gotta tell you, this ambition probably blows them right out of the water. I'm gonna let you be the judge and you tell me after you've seen it, what you think. Well, we're gonna step into the living area now. Um, stay with me. This is your new home away from home. Thanks for joining me inside Van Lee's new Ambition Toy Hauler. Um, they'll have one floor plan right now, and as I mentioned before, only 12 available in the United States. If you think this is your guy, come see me. You've got to check it out just, just for looks. Of course, I'm standing in this amazing kitchen, solid surface countertops and a, and a double big farm sink with a pull-down faucet, all things that you'd expect. But take a look at this oven and stove. This is actually an apartment size, full size, kind of range cooked up four burners and then above you do have a residential size convection microwave packing still in there not so pretty another big residential size refrigerator it's still zip tied together coming down or excuse me coming up from the south so i'll open this freezer down here look at all of this room with this tray here there's just this is your home away from home and then of course we have this great pantry this side not lighted but this side lighted so if you've got some things you want to just kind of reach in there without turning all the lights on maybe first thing in the morning after that great party <laughs> you've got awesome storage awesome storage here now these are soft close cabinet doors so what you do is you get them just about there and then boom, they close by themselves. Isn't that awesome? What that will do then is it makes it just a little bit more secure, click. Um, same way with your drawers. You're gonna push them just about there and then they will pull themselves in. And while well, it's kind of fun to watch that do that, again, there is a benefit in that they, they, they latch a little bit more securely. The lighting, the way they've done the lighting in here, all very beautiful, very residential, but not so much of a particular style as to, you know, offend you or to say, you know, I wish it would be completely different. Around behind here, just behind, you'll see there's an absolutely beautiful fireplace. Of course, fireplaces, not just pretty, but pretty and warm. This thing puts out a lot of heat. Um, we had all of our sales force in here last week just to take a look at this brand new unit, and it was plenty warm. Probably the best stereo system you can get in any toy hauler, bar none, on the market. Two amps up above. Of course, you've got this great LG TV, but 
two amps up above. The sound in here, you've got a subwoofer, you've got speakers everywhere. So it's almost a home theater system here in your living space. And by the way, take a look at these extra wide theater seat recliners. Every one of them a power recliner. Um, absolutely just like I said, no comfort spared. There's, there's nothing you're sacrificing by coming out in your camper. Of course, a lot of uh, storage up above here. And once again, that, that super, that laminated all five size slide box, just gonna be a little bit warmer. I know some people complain, you get in the slide, it's a little cold outside, it's cooler, but this is gonna be insulated just like the rest of the camper. Well, I'm gonna take a trip up these steps right here. They've curved them and it actually makes it a little bit easier to get past the, the extra wide door here. You've got motion activated night lights here so that you can always see the steps. And I'm gonna step aside here so my videographer, Troy, can get a shot of this beautiful bathroom. They continued the hard, uh, excuse me, the full, the solid surface countertops all the way into the bathroom. That's a one piece shower enclosure. So much easier to take care of with a fold down teak seat. Now we get into the master suite and it really is gorgeous in here. Of course, a king size bed. You've got LED light discs up here and big operable windows on both sides of the slide box. You've got a little bit of a, a nightstand here for phones on either side with um, uh, the, um, excuse me, can't even talk, the <laughs> USB charge. Back here in the closet, I'm gonna get out of the way so you can see there's a nice little cubby back here. The light is actually in the clothing bar. I love how it shines down on what you're looking for. Nice soft light up here on the shelf. So the first person who gets up, if they're kind of looking around for clothing, it's not gonna be a harsh light. And then here, we've already gone ahead and added the Splendid washer dryer stackable pair. Um, this is an option from Van Lee. We went ahead and added it. This little doodad right here, this is a CPAP stand. So this can go on either side of the bed. This again is another option from the factory. We decided it would be something that uh, a lot of our customers might take advantage of. If you don't use it for a CPAP stand, that's gonna be a great place to park your tablet at night. Of course, everything you see in here, if it looks like wood, it is wood. This is a domestically grown hardwood that is shipped to their factory in the South. They mill it in factory and then they style it and finish it and it's part of what is their goal to make 75 percent of this coach manufactured in-house it gives them a little bit of additional control over uh, quality um, they can decide what works and what doesn't work uh, makes it a little bit more streamlined uh, to have it in-house of course we went ahead and we added the three air conditioners to the unit it comes standard with two 15,000 BTU air conditioners your first air conditioner is going to have a heat pump on it we went ahead and put in that third 15,000 BTU and of course it's whisper quiet so you're not going to see it on your padded vinyl ceiling it's going to be much quieter you don't have the condenser dump right there you are ducted with returns all the way through the coach well folks this is just a very quick glimpse and an absolutely gorgeous pro product you really need to see this in person and i would love to take you through it i'm susan dillman stills here at mount comfort rv